Well, this is it guys. This is the tank we're going to be using for this series of Frog Watch. Today's the day we're going to take the tadpoles from the pond and put them in here. So let's go and do it. If we take a look at the pond, we can see that most of the tadpoles from this area have now dispersed. They're not clumped together on the surface like they were. Most of the jelly has gone now too. What has happened is that the tadpoles have grown big enough and strong enough to venture into deeper water. If we take a look under the surface, you may spot one or two swimming around, but they're very good at hiding. This could make catching some to put into the tank a bit of a challenge. Luckily, we have this batch of tadpoles that were laid a day later. These ones are still clumped together. You can see though that they are very active and getting ready to swim away. They are making a lot of bubbles by thrashing around. It's from this spot that I can take this year's Lucky Tadpoles. Ok now I've picked out quite a lot of tadpoles in there. Now ideally I want to know exactly how many I'm putting into the tank. We have 15 litres of water in here which means we could put 30 to 45, that's 2 to 3 tadpoles per litre. So around 30, certainly no more than 45 in there. So I need to know exactly how many I'm putting in. I've managed to separate um, 10 into here so we're going to put them in little by little. So the first 10 are going to be going in now. And there they go into their new home. So that's the first 10. So basically, I'm going to separate out maybe about 40, and we'll get about 40 in there. That should be a great number uh, to do the series with. So uh, let me get on with doing that. Right, there we go. I think one extra slipped in there, so I think there are 41 in there now. So the rest of these guys, there's going to be too many for our tank. These guys are going to go back in the pond, back with their brothers and sisters. And uh, these guys in here are going to be the stars of this series. Now for the first few days in here, they're not going to be particularly active. You can see quite a lot of them, like this one here, this one up here, they stay attached to the glass. They've got little suckers on their mouths that they use to attach themselves to plants and rocks and things like that. And uh, they spend a lot of their time just attached like that way. And that, that's the way that they will eat uh, algae off the rocks and off the plants, that sort of thing. That's what they're going to be eating for the first few days. Now when they get a little bit bigger, we're going to need to start giving them extra food. And that's where the that lettuce and spinach and things like that will come into play. Uh, but for the moment, they're just going to be swimming around in here for the first few days, getting used to their new environment, and uh, yeah, we'll see how they settle in. Now, of course, tadpoles aren't going to be the only thing in this tank. I really want to set this up like a mini indoor pond. So I want to get some other life from that pond to place in the tank with the tadpoles. But that's going to be a little bit later on. We're going to leave these guys for a few days to see how they settle in. And then we'll start adding in some extra things uh, like snails. We have water beetles. Um, there's various things that we can add in there. And uh, it's going to get a real kind of pond feel to it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this, how this develops over the coming weeks. The one thing I am curious about is when you introduce uh, fish into an aquarium, for example, you often will need to acclimatise them to the temperature of the water. Now I've just put them straight in there, but I'm thinking it's going to be okay because the temperature of the water should be about room temperature. It should be actually warmer than what the, the temperature of the pond is. But uh, I'm interested, what is the temperature of the pond and what is the temperature of my tank? So I've got a thermometer here, let's have a look. Oh, 
Alright, so the temperature of the pond there is about 14 degrees. That looks about right. This is uh, centigrade. So let's check the uh, temperature of the tank. Right there, so that looks like that's about uh, 17, 17, 18 degrees, something like that. So that's uh, a little bit warm weather, but not too far out. So I'm pretty sure uh, it's not going to be too much of a shock for them to go from one temperature to the other. Uh, the tipping them out is probably the bigger shock than the actual temperature. But they seem to be getting on okay in there. Well, that's going to be it for this week. We'll leave these guys to settle in for a few days and next time we'll see if I can add in some more pond life to the tank and we'll feed the tadpoles for the first time. I very much hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do leave feedback down in the comment section. And just a reminder you can follow me on Twitter at Shredded Science and I also have a Patreon site which if you were to support me it could help me buy higher quality equipment which can improve this series even more. As always I really appreciate you for watching these videos to the end and I hope to see you next Sunday for more Frogwatch. Goodbye.